Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Um, been busy lately, doing a lot of work, a lot of projects at my house, and uh, just trying to finish up some prepping. Uh, we all know what is going on in the Middle East, uh, Israel, Iran, Syria. Um, we don't know what will happen. So I'm trying to finish up some preps, also trying to work. Um, so I encourage you, if you're uh, able, to finish your preps, do some things, do it. Uh, get home a little tired from work, maybe dig deep and do a few things that you need to do, especially on the fuel side of the house. If you can store some fuel, safely store it. Uh, it will not be any cheaper. It will just be going up, uh, going into the spring and summer, and then if the Middle East flares up, it will really be going up. So uh, put some gas back. A lot of people send me a PM so what do you do for a living so it's it's really uh, really glamorous what I do and sexy and cool um, not really I'll show you what I do I play in the mud that's what I do uh, work on projects for for people uh, be it rain collection system be it wells be it springs be it security, be it uh, food, be it communication, anything uh, that, that preppers need, that's what me and Scott do. Uh, so it's really nothing uh, too glamorous. It's uh, a lot of days, it's working with your hands, digging, trenching, um, installing things, but it's it's fun and uh, I learn a lot. It's just neat every, every day as we progress and do more projects for people, um, we get more knowledgeable, so then we go to another another client or another customer. Uh, it's it's so much easier to say, hey, we got another solution for you because we just did this and we know it will work. So it, it's nice to keep keep learning. We're learning every day when we when we do this, uh, me and Scott. So today we're hopefully going to finish up this project. What we're doing, as you can see, is a big water tank, variable water tank. I think it's either 1700 or 19. Can't remember off the top of my head. And we're filling this with a ram pump. A ram pump requires no electricity. It is totally EMP proof. So this prepper wanted an EMP proof solution for his water. Um, he has developed an awesome retreat here. He has been blessed uh, financially to be able to do a lot of projects. Uh, he's doing an awesome job. And he's taking care of his family and then his uh, other loved ones. Um, so I commend him on that. But what we're doing right now, the ram pump is running. And we are filling this. As you can see in here, that's about a half a gallon a minute. So this is like the turtle. It's not like the hare. It's slow and steady, but 24 hours a day, this is going to pump about a half a gallon into this tank. When it gets full, there's two lines. There's a supply and return. It will then return it back. So it will keep nice and fresh circulated water in this tank. This system should pump, be able to pump about 500 gallons a day up to this thing. So in a few days it'll be full. As you can see, there's also a two inch line. That two inch line is for firefighting. Um, he'll have a, a, a nice pump at the bottom, plus he'll have the uh, capacity to fight a fire with the gravity. We are high up on this hill. I'm not gonna show you too much of his house, but there his house is. Uh, it's a ways down there. So he's gonna get about 35 PSI for sure. Um, and, and that is more than adequate to take care of his family. Um, he, he also has some other water systems, so he doesn't have to rely on this, but this is his backup, 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 EMP-proof water system, non-electrical. So this is what I do every day. A lot of people ask me. Um, I have fun, I play in the dirt, and I work on prepper projects uh, for a living. I, I'm blessed to have this job and the ability to start a business. I urge all of you, start a business. This is, I've, I've always worked for someone else or worked for the government, but this is the first time where my destiny is, and I control it. The harder you work, the better your business does. It's rewarding, it's very hard. We haven't been doing this long, but it's, it's paying off. And it's just nice to, to control your destiny. Now you might be saying, oh, I don't have a ram pump, I don't have, all this money to do what am I gonna do well let me give you a suggestion I, I was up here working and I noticed this you see over there he has a carport this is at the top of his property 
um, let's say we put some gutters on each side of those carports run a line down this bank here into a tank it doesn't have to be this tank it could be a couple hundred gallon tank um, could be 55 gallon barrels plumbed together from there you could do the same system trench it down you could do the trenching yourself Maddox and shovel and you could have gravity water to your house very affordable very affordable you could probably do it for five or six hundred dollars do everything if you were a do-it-yourselfer and you would have gravity water at your house um, you would have to purify it you could do that uh, with some type of chemical means uh, filtration ceramic or the new uh, the new system with using UV um, we're getting into the UV now I think it's a great alternative the uh, smaller units are about five to six hundred dollars and it will, will take everything out of the water, make it safe for your family. So it is. It has some application, especially where people can't drill a well, but they can they can get some water from a creek, a pond, a river. Uh, it will give them give them some clean water in the house. So don't be discouraged if you're prepping. You say, man, I can't have, can't do that. Don't have all that stuff. Let's say maybe you live on a hill, and your house is down. Maybe you can build a carport. It doesn't have to be that fancy. Uh, it could be a shed type carport and then collect the water. Maybe you have a good neighbor up the hill from you. Maybe you can say, hey, let's collect the water off your garage and then I can have water down at my house. Plus, you'll have a spigot here for you. So there's a lot of things to do. Don't give up. Don't get discouraged. Keep prepping. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. The Middle East is, is could be a powder keg uh, with Iran and Israel. So just keep prepping. Don't get discouraged. Um, stay positive. And to all the ones that want to know what do I do for a living, this is what I do for a living. Uh, I, I help people prepare and I do uh, awesome projects. Very rewarding. And it's also great for me because then I can see what works. Uh, a lot of the projects I do I can't personally afford to do at my, my place, but one day I hopefully will. And it gives, it gives me ideas and skills that I will use. Thanks for watching.